So we're here at the Santa Monica Swim Center and we have Olympic gold medalist Chris Mears to teach a bunch of regular people how to dive off of that three meter springboard. He's an Olympic gold medalist. How badass is that? I have a participation award. Yeah, we're ready for this. All right, let's do it. I think it's gonna be really interesting today to see how these guys get on because there are a bunch of people that haven't really tried diving before. I'm used to being on a bike, going up and down mountains in the pouring rain, jumping off a high dive for like three seconds can't be too bad. I played water polo in high school and I also swam. I hated waking up so early in the morning, so I switched to choir. So I actually swim. I'm on a master swim team, but I'm definitely not used to diving from three meters. My ending goal is just to not fall on my face and have that filmed for everyone to see. I'm gonna have you guys jump off of the three meter board first, just so that you get used to the idea of kind of throwing yourself off of it. Okay, so I'll fuck it up first, and then you can do a crack light. I wanna crawl to the end of the board right now. Arms up. Oh! Woo! Woo! Nailed it! Should I like run up? No. Nope. Walk to the end, you're gonna start right onto the edge of the board. Let's do some rocks first to get the board moving. That's good good job, it was good for a first jump. This is already a lot higher than I could have ever imagined. Look at how far down that is. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here, he cut off all of his height, which meant that he almost took his ass off on the board. Oh! Michelle, how scary is it? Shut up, Ricky! <laughs> <laughs> when you're ready, go. Out of everyone in round one, you came out on top. Round one success. Cool. When I was 15, I basically had a virus that meant my stomach and my throat were really swollen, my spleen ruptured, and now I don't have a spleen. There were moments when I kind of just wanted to throw in the towel and give it all up because it was all too much but every time I got to that point it ended up me just realizing that there was more there was more to my career. So essentially what I'm gonna do is introduce you guys to a dive without actually having to do any jump. Then from there all you have to do is literally fall. I can do that. <laughs> then forward from the hips and keep your legs real nice and straight. Definitely jump with your legs. Just want to get it over with. Remember to keep your legs straight and don't jump. Don't like arch up, just make sure you're like that, right? Nice and thick. Yeah. I think I definitely did something wrong and like kind of landed on my back. You ever do something and you're just like, if I die doing it, at least I've got a good story. <laughs> <laughs> Bend down more if you can. Pop that booty like Kim Kardashian. Now you're gonna fall in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just couldn't do it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Like literally, you know when you like you're watching a movie and you see that point of view when someone's jumping off a building and like about to die. That's what it felt like. <laughs> The hardest part of my road uh, to Rio was definitely moving away from my family and my friends. It's very kind of difficult when you have a vision to do something, but then you then realize you have to give up your friends, your family. I like my dog, but I couldn't see my dog anymore. But yeah, I, as I said before, it was all worth it in the end. When you jump, you're then gonna jump and go into a tuck and then kick out and land in a dive. How? No. What? No. No. no! Wait, I need an instant replay of that because I do not oh, understand. I need the <laughs> prayer hands. I need everyone's blessings. Three things, the jump, and then in and out of the tuck real quick, and then by that time, you'll already be hitting the water with your hands out. You didn't touch. I hit my balls and <laughs> I may not be able to have children now <laughs> after that. Okay, one more time. Oh! <laughs> Is she okay? 
My ending goal is just to not fall on my face and have that filmed for everyone to see. That was the embarrassing moment I was talking about. <laughs> Confidence, that's what Chris says. Killed that. It was so smooth, it was great. No more, I can't. Hey? Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> Split your hands. Don't grab your hands. Yeah? So rock the board. <laughs> I grabbed my legs. That was like half the battle. <laughs> Winning an Olympic gold medal was a life-changing moment for so many reasons. It felt so incredible to stand there and have something to represent like all of the hard work that I'd put in all these years. Being up there and doing that on the most basic level was like so intimidating. Like I can't believe you do what you do. As a whole, you guys did really well. Like for none of you to back out and actually not take off the board. I mean, we did hear a bit of, I can't. <laughs> but, you know, you still went and you still gave it a go. As a whole, yeah, it was really good.